Hello everyone, we will continue the topic web dine pro app and in the previous videos, we took one requirement based upon that requirement, we created the layout, we created the web dine pro application and at the last, we created the action for the submit button. Whenever we created the action, SAP generated a event handler method and in that method we will type the code and you all know very well what is the purpose of the method. The purpose of the method is to write the code and now whenever the topic will proceed you will realize that we must require the knowledge of object oriented programming at least few concepts we require. Now I will go for the layout before we proceed with the logic, we will understand what we want to do. Now, whatever the value you are giving here, whenever user will click on the submit button, we will get the value of this sales document number. We will get the value of this attribute BBELN. Based upon that, we will fetch the data from VBAK table for creation date, time, name and document category and we will bind with these four attributes ERDAT, ERZDT, ERNUM and VB time. Now we will go to the method and we will write the code. I will simply go down. I will click on to the button and we will go for that. Now we have the method event handler method display. Now the best part is in WebDyne Pro app app. We need to write very less code because SAP has given a WebDyne Pro code wizard. With the help of that, we will simply, simply generate the code. There is a need to write very less manual code. Just simply compare it to module pool. In the module pool, you have table control with wizard. You have tab strip with wizard. At that time, SAP is giving you the logic automatically. There is no need to manually write the code. And same thing is here. We will use this WebDyne Pro code wizard. And with the help of that, we will generate the code. And whenever SAP will generate the code, you will realize that is totally a object oriented code. Now I will simply click on to this button. You can see we are able to see two tabs, context and journal. As of now, I will go for context. You all know what is context, where your data resides. It means if you are giving the value of sales document number, it means it is in the context. We want to go for which operation first. Operation on context. Read, set, append or as table operation. We want to read the value. We want to get the value of sales document number. It means we will go for which operation? Read operation. Now I will click on to this context. We want to read the value of which attribute VBELN because this VBELN is binded with your UI element, whatever the input field is there. It means we want to get the value of this. Just see if I will simply click here. We are getting, we are getting the value of this attribute. This is our node and this is our attribute. I will simply go for OK. And you can see SAP generated the logic automatically. We will understand the logic also. Anyways, this is SAP generated code, but it will be good if you are able to understand this code. I'm just removing the commenting code. Just see how SAP has generated the code. Just see firstly at the last, we are getting the value of which attribute VBEL. This is what we want. And the value is coming into which particular variable LV underscore VBEL. Just see, we will understand this code. Now, those who know object oriented programming, they know whenever we have type ref to, 
It means it is a object. It means we have two object. Allo underscore ND underscore sales. Allo underscore EL underscore sales. It means these two are the object. These two objects are referring to these two. This is our interface for the node. This is our interface for the element. Now we will see this. If I will double click onto this particular interface, this is the interface. If underscore WD underscore context node. If I will go for second interface, we have this interface for the element. This is the interface for the element. You can see this is the element. The C will understand how SAP generated the code. If I will go to context, how SAP generated the code. If I want to get the value of VBELN attribute, it is not the case that I can get the value directly. Firstly, from the context, I need to get the node sales. Whenever I will get the node sales, I need to get the element. Whenever I will get the element, I will get the value of this particular attribute. This is what SAP did. The C. Firstly, we have the node sales. Then we have the element. Once we have the element, then we are getting the value of the attribute VBELN. The same to same thing. And you all know very well. Whenever we are going for objects, it means whatever the methods are there, all those are instance method. Suppose this method, if I will check, it is an instance method. If this method I will check, this will be an instance method. Suppose if I will go for this method, get underscore element. If I will show you this method, get underscore element, you can see get underscore element is an instance method. If you are going for instance method, you require a object. Yes, we have the object. Suppose I'm going for this get underscore attribute method with the help of object. It means this get underscore attribute is an instance method. If I will go for this method, you can see get underscore attribute. It is an instance method. How, how you can call an instance method with the help of object only. Anyways, if you have the knowledge of object-oriented programming, you can understand this code very well. And anyways, SAP is generating. So without that also, at least you can proceed with your logic part. Now, now into this particular variable, we will get the value of sales document number. Whenever we have the value of sales document number, can we write a select query? Yes, we will simply write a select query. Now, I will go to VBAK table. I will go to VBAK table. Now, I want the value of this ER dat, ER ZDT, ER num, and VB type because these are our four fields on the screen. So, how I will write the query? You all know. Whenever you will give a sales document number, you will get the single date, single time, single name, and single document category. Because we are going for single input at a time. Whenever we will go for single input, we will get a single sales document number. And these details will be single, single. Suppose if I will give the input one, you can see we will get this, 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 and we will get this, this VB type. So these are single, single values. So I will simply write the query. So I will write select single because we all know single record is coming. Select single. What is first one? ER dat, ER ZET, ER num, VB type. If you want to go for internal table concept, you can go for internal table also. If you want to go for work area, you can go for work area also. I'm simply taking into four variables from VBAK into. I will simply write the four variables. I will declare those four variables LV underscore ER dat, LV underscore ERZET. 
LV underscore ER num LV underscore VP type. Now we need to go for wear condition. So I will simply pass the wear condition. Wear VB ELN is equal to this is our input now because your sales document number will come into this. Now I will declare these four variables. If you want more understanding, please refer the playlist of a BAP of a BAP programming part two. There I explained. If you are getting single record, you can take variable also. If you are getting single record, you are you can directly take into work area also. If you are getting single record, you can take into internal table, then you have to read that internal table. I'm simply taking the four variables. I will declare these four variables. Data. LV underscore ER dat type. What is the data element for ER dat? ER dat. Then I will go for LV underscore ER ZED. This is our ER ZED. Then I will go for LV underscore ER num. Type ER num is the data element. Then I will go for LV underscore VB type. Type VB TYPL. You can go for internal table also, no problem. Anyways, in the future, we will go for internal table. I will check the syntax and I will activate. Now your data is into these four variables, four variables. How, how you will bind? Because we want to bind these four values with these four layout elements. We want to go for this. This one, we want to bind. I'll just wait. It is just, we want to bind with this, 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 and this. Now same, there is no need to write the code by your own. We will simply use the wizard. So now I will go for this web pro code wizard. Now, now I will not go for read operation. Now you are not reading the value. You are setting the value of the attributes. So I will go for set. I will go for context. Firstly, I will take ER tag. I will go for OK. You can see now Previously, we have the get attribute method. Now we have the set attribute method. You can see we have the set attribute and same to same logic. You can see firstly, we have the object of the node, object of the element. Then we are going for set. Now you can see this LO underscore ND underscore sales. It is already declared. LO underscore EL underscore sales, it is already declared. So remove the repeated code. LS underscore sales, it is already a repeated code. Anyways, LV underscore ER that we declare. This is our repetitive code. Now, we are already have the object of the node sales, yes. We already have the object of the element. Yes. So this is a repetitive code. So remove that also. This thing you need to check because there's no need to go for repetitive code. Suppose if I'm again setting the attribute, I'm again setting. If I will go for this. Now I want to go for set what? I want to go for set of ERZDT. Yes, SAP is giving you the code, but you need to check if there is a repetitive code, you need to remove that code. Suppose I am going for ERZDT. Now, there is no need for all this code. I just want this set attribute LV underscore ERZDT. It's not required. It's not required. Now we are setting the value of ERZDT. You can see we declare LV ER that. L V E R Z D T because in these four variables we are getting the value. Now I will go for third. I will simply set this E R num. Okay. Now I will not take this repetitive code. I will simply remove this code. 
I will simply take this ER now. Now I will go for last. This is our, I think by mistake, I took get operation. No, set to. I thought I just clicked on to that. Now I will go for VB type. This is our VB type. Now I will check the syntax. Best way, go to display mode. Yes, and activate everything. If some inactive part is there, it will be automatically activated. Now everything is in black color. Just see how this logic will be. Firstly, we will get the value of sales document number. It will be into this particular variable. We are passing this value to VBAK table and we are getting the value of these four variables. And we are binding with this ER dat, ER ZET, ER num, and VB type. This is your layout elements in the layout you bind with this. So what is the summary of this particular video? Very extremely important video because based upon that only we will proceed. We simply went to this event handler method and what we did. Firstly, we want to get the value of VBE. There is no need to write the code. SAP has given a wizard. You need to simply go to that web dendro code wizard and go for get operation first. You need to go for get, or you can say read. We are simply reading the value of sales document number VBEL. After that, we understood the code. So SAP is firstly giving the object of the node, then object of the element, and then we are getting the value of the attribute. Just understand the hierarchy. We have context, then we have the node, and then we have the attribute. And SAP is generating the code in the same way. After that, we have written the query. We know that whenever we will pass the single sales document number, we will get the single, single values. So I simply write the query, select single. If you want to take internal table, take internal table, then you have to read at index one. If you want to go for work area, you can go for work area also. That's not a concern. After that, we need to set. So what we did, rather than read operation, we simply use the set operation. We are setting the attribute value, setting the attribute value, setting the attribute value. Just see, whenever you have the duplicate logic, please remove that logic because ultimately the node is one that is sales. Now in the next video, we will understand each and everything in the debugging mode. So if some confusion is there, it will be automatically clear. So that's it in this video. Thank you.